Hi all, welcome to Steve Solar Life. I hope you have got uh, all the videos, you have watched all the videos related to the solar panel and other technologies as well. Uh, we want you to be clear, the solar panel um, performance is purely based upon the latitude and longitude and that particular location, weather condition for that location and then you have to see the panel specification etc. Yeah. And today we are going to uh, discuss about the solar panel sizing for one particular location. Um, that will be the Tripura. It's um, northeast sector of the India. The city name called uh, Agachala. That's nearby uh, Ujjayantha Palace. So that's the location we have selected today. Yeah. And uh, that's uh, near to the Children's Park, KFC, Tim Sagar Lake Park. Yeah. So um, Tripura Hill. So that's the. Uh, locations that we have considered on this video or uh, what we are discussing so yeah uh, we want you to be sure uh, the locations the panel sizings what we are saying that's will be uh, suitable for that only that locations if you are shifting the same kind of design to some areas uh, and there will be impact on the solar panel performance uh, it means to say uh, you are going to spend uh, uh, again extra money on this yeah and I uh, could say the latitude and longitude would be 23.8373 and 91.2819. So that's the exact locations what we are discussing on this video. Yeah, uh, we want you to be clear the solar panel performance uh, whatsoever. It's uh, not so purely based upon only kilowatt and KVA and so and so. It's purely based upon the locations where you are going to install. That's the latitude and longitude directions and a lot of weather conditions and then panel specifications, a lot of things you have to see. And top of that you have to see the sub-circuit called um, charge controller, inverter, batteries, cablings, protection level 2. Yeah, you have to see all the stuff. So if you do it, uh, very perfect things at the beginning stage, you don't have to spend more money on the later stage. Uh, basically the solar panel could be designed for the 2, 5, 10, 20 or whatsoever, you know. It's purely based upon how many um, efforts you are putting at the beginning stage. Uh, otherwise, you'll be uh, spending a lot on the maintenance point of view. Yeah. Uh, today, let's see. Um, basically, what we do is uh, we used to collect the weather conditions, um, historic data of the weather conditions. We used to forecast, uh, and we used to calculate the panels. You know, load calculations. As in like 100,000 units per year, 2,000 units per year, 3,000 units per year is required for your locations. And then we are sizing the panels. Yeah. So that's how it's supposed to be. That's how the global solar projects company is working. Yeah. Uh, if you're really looking for the perfection way. Yeah. Yeah. What load we have considered here? Uh, I think uh, we have considered, uh, we have considered all light loads like uh, could be a LED lights or fan or kind of a laptop or televisions kind of uh, home theaters you know only light loads we are not concerned any of the higher ratings ampere anything so uh, like a air conditioner a geyser a motor anything so we are not concerned that we have concerned only the light loads let's see what loads we are concerned here 25 watts four numbers are running five hours per day 10 watts loads so eight numbers running eight hours per day 100 watts load uh, four numbers six hours running per day 100 watts load two numbers four hours running per day 50 watts uh, loads uh, two numbers uh, 12 hours running per day so to uh, if you're running this load for the entire year you need to generate uh, 2022 units for the entire year basically we are giving the reading for the entire year yeah so when the when you install the solar panel everyone knows that uh, when it is a summer conditions it will have more output if it is a rainy conditions uh, the output will be less so so we are calculating for the entire year so what are the readings we are telling for that's not going to be only for first year it's going to be for the next 20 years so that's what uh, we, we want you to be uh, understand the systems how we are designing how the system is supposed to be designed yeah uh, so uh, to achieve these units uh, let's see what kind of uh, how many ratings of panel required for uh, generating this many units for that location yeah we have considered all the laws as I said before we have considered all the weather conditions on top of that, we have to consider all the losses related to the panel. We have considered the temperature correction, using factor dust, etc. It means to say, you don't have to clean the panel every day or week. You can do it, what, or do it or once in a three or six months. That is more than sufficient. Yeah, we have considered grade one panel and polycrits line. So uh, to achieve these locations, uh, to achieve the units, uh, you have to go with uh, 2100 on uh, WP panel. 
uh, polycrystal lens for that location to achieve the um, perfect reading for that location. So if you are shifting the same kind of design to some areas or far from that locations, there will be impact on the solar panel performance. Of course, you will be spending more money on that. Yeah, at later stage. Uh, yeah, uh, if you have any concerns, so many people have already got installed the systems. You, yeah, you have more concerns, how many readings, uh, you are not sure how many readings you are getting and all. So in the case also, you can approach uh, streetsolarlife at gmail.com. Yeah, to store these energies to the battery, um, if you are go with the, uh, if you are planning for the day autonomy, you can go ahead with the eight numbers battery. You have to look into the batteries as well before selecting the battery. You have to see the DOD temperature corrections and characteristics of the battery, as well as you have to see the cutoff level of the battery. If you are charging a certain level of power, if you are discharging more level things from the battery, so that will be impact on the light efficiency. Uh, that will be impact on the efficiency too. So you have to look into, you know, in perfect way at the beginning stage, not at the latter stage. So it will uh, save your cost too. Yeah. Um, so and you have to see the protection level too when you talk about the entire systems. Uh, so I hope all the point has been covered here. Yeah. And uh, if you have any concerns related to the solar panel systems uh, like how the unit is supposed to be generated and uh, what kind of readings you are not sure about the system, probably you can approach uh, uh, streetsolarlife at gmail.com. As well as uh, many people go uh, been involved uh, in the solar panel installation work and uh, you are not sure how many readings uh, your panel is going to get and all. In this case also, uh, you can approach streetsolarlife at gmail.com. We are here to help you or we are the people um, or the group of our team who had many experience in the global projects. We are also guiding to the many firms and projects. I hope all the things uh, is covered here. Uh, if you have any concerns, uh, you can approach uh, Sri Solar Life at gmail.com. We are here to help you. Thanks again. Bye.